Today's stitch is herringbone stitch. Uh, we're going to work this uh, running from left to right and it's really useful for this particular stitch to mark two parallel lines on your cloth. Use a marker that you can um, erase afterwards and this will ensure that you get a nice even line of stitching. So I'm going to come up at the top here and back in at an angle. And then back along that line a little way. How far is entirely up to you. And on the top line. Back this point, check the angle that you've made with that stitch and try to make sure Same. Let's try and get an evenness of stitch. So you're taking a long diagonal stitch, a short one back. And just continue for as long as you need to go. So you're looking to make sure that you've got a uniformity of stitch length and the angles here. So when you've got the hang of that, you can play around and do some other interesting things. So here I've got my line of herringbone stitch that I've made and I'm just going in where the threads cross with contrasting colour and doing a small tie stitch. But you can vary this in all sorts of ways so have fun. I need to do that. Have fun experimenting. Or you could even go in between your stitches here. A cheeky little French knot. I really like combining stitches. You can make really simple embroidery look much more interesting by using contrasting colours and putting different stitches together. So experiment and have fun. On a rainy day. There we are.